What's up property owners? How are you guys doing? This is Gabe and this is Property by Gabe. Today we're going to discuss about the new residential property tax changes for 2023 and 24. In the meantime, hit that subscribe button for more property and property related news. As you guys know, in the recent Budget Day 2022 news release on February 18, there will be changes in GST, income tax rates, property tax, luxury car tax and more. You can read the full article in the description below. This video is going to be focused on property tax and we're going to break down this video into three parts. One, what is annual value? Two, what is my current annual value? And three, what are the current changes for 2023 and 2024? And how do I calculate my property tax based on that changes? I will leave a timeline below if you want to go directly to the parts that you would like to find out more. So what is annual value? Most people may not know this, but as defined by IRAS, property annual value is the estimated gross annual rent of the property if it were to be rented out. Of course, excluding furniture, finishings and maintenance fee. It has nothing to do with the valuation of the property. Now, IRAS determines this based on the estimated market rentals of similar or comparable properties and not on the actual rental income received. So, for example, if you're renting above market rate or below market rate, IRAS still bases its calculation on the prevailing market rate. So, how do I get my annual value? To find out your current annual value, just log in to your IRAS My Tax Portal. Go under Property, then View Property Dashboard. There you'll find your annual value. I will leave the IRAS link in the description below. So now comes the biggest question. What are the changes for 2023 and 2024? And how do I calculate my property tax? Now that you know what is your property annual value, let's move on to you know, calculate the property tax. But before we dive directly into it, you must understand that there are two portions to this calculation. The rates for owner-occupied units and non-owner-occupied units, essentially uh, rented out, are different. So what this means is that if you're renting out the unit, of course, the tax will be higher. So these are the current owner-occupied rates for 2022 as compared to 2023 and 2024. Do take note that the annual value and the percentage has changed for 2023 and 2024. All of these can be found in the IRAS website, link in the description below. You will notice that if your annual value is below 30,000 for 2023 and 2024, there will be no changes in your property tax. So let's use as an example to further understand how to calculate your property tax for 2022. Let's assume that your annual value of your home is 40,000. So the first 8,000 will be 0%. That leaves us with a remainder of 32,000, which is payable at 4%. Therefore, your total property tax for 2022 will be 1,280, right? How about the rates for 2023 and 2024? So based on the rates for 2023, the property tax will be 1,380 and increased by $100. And for 2024, the property tax will be 1,480 and increased by another $100 from 2023. Now, how about units that are rented out for rental income? Here's the side-by-side -side lease for current 2023 and 2024 rates. Let's look at how the calculation is done. Assuming the annual value is the same, 40,000, in 2022, the first 30,000 is 10%, while the next 10,000 will be at 12%. That will give us 4,200. How about 2023? So in 2023, the tax will be 4,900, and 2024 will be 5,600. That's an increase of 1,400 from 2022. I hope this video has helped you guys understand the changes in our 2023 and 2024 property tax. If you still have any questions, do drop me a comment or drop me a text and I'll do my best to assist you. Do also like and subscribe for more property and property related news. This is Gabe here. I'll catch you soon.